All right, so we've created this file, um, this conceptual mass file, this sort of twisted tower thing. And what I want you to do now is save it. I've saved mine and I've called it Tower Twist. CM for conceptual mass, but you can save it if whatever name you want. So go ahead and save it. Um, and then what we're going to do is load it into a project. And we're going to start the project from a template that I gave you. So the first thing you're going to need to do after you save is go to File, New, Project. And you're going to browse to wherever it is that um, you expanded the zip file that I gave you for A1. And in there is A01MV template and just click open. And then here we do want to create a new project from this template, not a new project template, just a new project. And basically what it's going to do is it's, this is an empty file that has settings. It has an RTE. It's going to use this to open a new project file, which will then save as an RVT. Okay, it's going to upgrade it. Take a second. And it's going to open to a splash screen. And basically what I want you to do um, is let's just look at the file. So I'm going to go to my default 3D view here. And then it's an empty file ready to have something placed in it. And I've set up views and some sheets and stuff for you. So um, what I want you to, usually when I'm placing a mass or something into a project, I often go to my site view for multiple reasons. So go ahead and double click in your uh, floor plan site, right? And reason is, is because it's a section cut taken at 200 feet looking down. So there's a good chance you're going to be able to see what you're placing. Uh, and also it has this zero zero, it's just the survey point and the project base point. And you can use that to place as a placement point. So I'm going to go ahead and close my inactive windows to get all those closed up and flip back to my family. And what I want to do is load this into project. So I click on load into project and it, will turn on the mass show mass mode since you're inserting a mass it senses that so that's great so you can click close here and then it comes in and it's stuck to your cursor at the zero zero of the central of the conceptual mass and you can just pick go to the center here and pick left click and it will place it it wants to place more of them but we're just going to hit escape a couple of times and then we'll go back to our default 3d view so you can see this guy right, sitting in here. Um, and a couple of the qualities that you get that translate over from the family is if you pick this guy, there is in your properties, this is called the type selector. So all the types that we made are available to us through this pull down. So if I go to 50, right, there's the 50 and then there's the 90, right? So you can sort of flip between the different types. You can also create new types. So if I pick this, and I go to edit type, it brings up the family types dialog box, basically, but in the project it's called the type properties. And I can duplicate one of these types, right? So if I go to the 51, let's duplicate that one. So I'm going to duplicate that and I'll name it 60 feet. So now I have a new type and I can come in here and change this as I would like to change it, right? So maybe I set this one to 90, right? And I start maybe making this guy a little bigger. This one's mighty small, maybe make that 10. And then click OK. And it will update and give me a new version. Right, so here's a new version. So I now have a new type. So if I pick that and go to the pull down, you have these different types. All right. Um.